a little philosoph philosophy. Yeah, well, I mean, it's very inter. So, uh, like, I I hired the man who to build my cabin, who has built everyone else's cabin, right? So the money goes directly to him, right? And uh, the, my electrician and like everybody is lo everything is locally sourced, right? And the money stays within the community. And I couldn't do it on my own. Like, I don't know. I don't have this. I don't have the skills or the like. I need everybody. They need me. Like, it's a good. It's a good. Uh, there's no way we can make it on our own. It's like Dan always says, you know, one plus one is three. It's not two. There is a thing I brought up in the last week's Frackley about the pencil, how no one person can make a pencil. If you look at all the pieces of it, and it's such a simple thing, it takes so many people mining the rubber and the wood and the lead and all these things just to make a smart post that link everyone that if you have that link if I, I'll, I'll post it to the chat but that is a great like the story of the pencil everyone should watch that it's like a five ten minute you know story of how to make a pencil and it's worth it's worth uh i, I think it's worth it yeah that, that came out of reading the the network state from Belajai. um God, I, I still have to, I still have like uh, 20 links to go through of the links that he had in that book. But um, yeah, I'll find that in a second. What, what were some of your main takeaways, Mark, that you think might be relevant uh, to what we're doing here with the fractally stuff? Well, in general, I think the, the interesting idea um, is to pick one uh, moral innovation that you want to focus on in the world. Like um, he gave a couple examples, but um, you know, like an FDA free zone or a keto society, you know, no sugar, let's say, and things like that. And then you form a, you form a group around that, uh, that, that agrees to this moral innovation and you build the group over time on that and uh uh it's it, it it involves cryptocurrency as well so you can exchange within the group so it fits well within a fractal let's say uh so it'd be a fractal rather than a generalized fractal it'd be a fractal with a moral innovation it's something that you want you know and i think the most um the one that uh, I see closest to this thing is the seeds, join seeds, uh, which focuses on regeneration. So I think that's a nice single thing to focus on, and it could apply to many different um, uh, areas, right? It could be regeneration of land, or it could be regeneration of a community, or regeneration of our agriculture or medicine or things like that so it could expand but the idea of regeneration which is beyond sustainability sustainability is just like okay we'll keep it at level but i believe humans are going to be the solution to the problems rather than some people think that we're the plague on the earth but i think we're going to actually be the solution to uh to the future there, there's something to be said about uh, human beings' ability to uh, turn over the earth, so to speak, um, to uh, to create things that otherwise wouldn't be created in nature, right? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. It's like the, the the pigs root the soil, and um, and the farmland. Um, we're part of that ecosystem. If I got you right, I think that that's what you're absolutely you're doing, right. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Awesome. Absolutely. Yep. Mark. Thank you. I think I'll jump in. Um, basically, we have like one minute, don't we, until we break out. So um, probably a better appropriate conversation for the uh, after event, if there is one, but um, there's large I'll talk. Go ahead. I'll stick around. No, I'll stick around after the, after the meeting for sure. Sounds great. Uh, so I'll put the plug in. Uh, there was a bit of large talk about Haifa Dow and the EOS ecosystem this week. So the question to the group is, 
How does fractally compare to HyphaDAO as an introductory slash what are the weaknesses or strengths on each side? Uh, because, uh, yeah, I'm looking at the HyphaDAO uh, group for the first time looking at it, and I thought I'd uh, seed that. All right, we've got 21, so it looks like we're good to go. I'm going to uh, create the rooms and I need to just check the settings real quick. 45 minutes, countdown 60 seconds. Automatically move. It's a different Zoom account, so I just need to check these settings real quick. Um, Josh, okay, an interesting thing I noticed is that uh, I'm not able to save the text transcript. Not a big deal, just giving you feedback. So it's it's a little bit different. Okay, yeah, I think I need to change that in the main settings. I'll I'll do that next week. So this seems to have worked. Uh, let's get feedback afterwards, see how the process went for the transition. And uh, I'm going to open up the rooms like normal, 45-minute countdown, 60-second delay after that. And we'll see you guys back here in just a little bit. Here we go. Hello everyone. The randomization is working well. I was with Chakros in uh, round one. That's nice. Yeah, we move in pairs. To be with Mike, with uh, Valentine, and my uh, dog man. Dan. Let's enjoy. Nice. Thank you, nice you all. Good to see you all. <laughs> By the way, I'm recording, and we'll share this on YouTube at some point soon. All right. Uh, we got three minutes apiece. Uh, I think five would be an appropriate expectation, so I don't think we're waiting on anyone. Uh, randomizer says, Val, how about you first? All right. Um, yeah, it was a uh, uh, very busy week for us all. Uh, you, you probably all know I don't need any uh, additional introduction. I'm on a fractal team. I'm working for full time as front end engineer, and this this week we are focusing on uh, preparing some uh, stuff we need to announce uh, the blockchain, the, the blockchain we are working on for the past several months, and uh, 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 my focus was on uh, mostly on um, blockchain explorer uh, we are going to release it uh, along with uh, the website uh, documentation some examples of uh, applications that we call applets and blockchain explorer is one of the applets uh, we want to ship and we are nice uh, your blockchain uh, i have uh, implemented uh, uh, search by account, uh, create an account page, and when you enter some account name, it redirects you to a page where uh, accounts balance are shown, uh, some transactions uh, made by this account are shown. Uh, also, uh, I've uh, helping Mike to um, Polish uh, the landing page for a blockchain technologies web website. Uh, I, I had to learn a little bit about uh, Vue.js. And uh, since it's very similar to Svelte.js, which I am using to implement Block Explorer, uh, it was pretty easy to switch uh, to Vue and uh, help Mike to uh, just uh, put I don't see anything. I'm I'm not I'm not I'm not sharing anything yet. Ah. Uh, okay. okay. So in, in uh, we like, like, that you were sharing the landing, landing page. Uh, I, I think we did. Uh, our designer did a great job. And okay. I'm just implementing uh, his design, and we cannot show anything yet because it's ah. not, yeah publicly announced. But it's uh, getting pretty much yeah, moving forward. So I think maybe uh, in a couple of weeks, everything should be ready. Everything should be in place. Um, 
All right, and uh, maybe it's worth also worth to mention that I was talking to a guy who found that. Uh, this project let, let me share a link it's it's really minutes. interesting it's a very really interesting project they uh, started as uh, just an alternative to zoom for some uh, co company meetings and they have some events some celebrations so in, in COVID, covid time it was uh, the only option for some team building and collaboration and now they're moving into Web3 space. So they are exploring some companies and uh, he reached out to me and uh, asked if he can join, uh, join these meetings because he found, found uh, Fractally very interesting and also asked if we can collaborate with them in terms of uh, facilitating some meetings, even with weekly meetings. I think it can be more fun to use their solution. And uh, what was the, the interesting in this, uh, if you give me another minute, what was interesting in this conversation, uh, they doing a lot of uh, events for other uh, blockchain companies. Uh, and they usually just receive some grant from them and they use this grant to organize this meeting and have some uh, money out of this grant. And he asked if uh, Fractally is going to provide people with uh, grants. And uh, my answer was, it's uh, actually, we already giving uh, up some grants. It's uh, actually in uh, Fractally DNA to finance uh, third party pro projects. Uh, you just need to come in the weekly meeting, share your progress, share your contributions, and it's uh, even a better system than just a one-time grant to do something because these grants here, uh, they are not regular. They are, it's difficult to uh, check whether this money go, does they reach the goal. And he agree, agree with me that this system may work better for this. Right, and that's all for me for this week. Uh, I, and I can pass it to Shakros. He's next on my screen. Thank you. Thank you, Valentine. We're looking uh, forward to the blockchain, the website, and using, ah, I like that. Timer. <laughs> I forgot I had it the first time. Sorry. <laughs> nah, that is awesome. Awesome. So very excited. Uh, Vue.js is, uh, uh, to me, uh, React is a little bit too vanilla. Vue.js is, is a bit more easy. And I, I, I use it more than uh, React. So that's, that's great. My report for this week is that uh, I continue organizing the new fractal, the uh, Russian speaking one. And we had the first meeting today in Zoom. Uh, with 32 people on board doing breakout rooms and seeing all these uh, people realizing how it works and coming out of the of the breakout rooms like wow that was great that was amazing we loved that that was something we missed so these people this community they used to have a lot of offline conferences last year uh, great conferences that were uh giving away iPhones, cars, and money, and they were meeting at hotels, but they, they're missing the, the most important part is this is the human communication, you know, in, in small rooms going to, you know, being together, talking to each other directly. And they said, this is going to replace the conferences that we used to have. And uh, that's what we need. We, we need this. We want this. They're hooked. They want it. So we have 32 people. I had all this experience uh, with breakout rooms. <laughs> I messed up and, uh, and I was moving people and I was jumping uh, myself in different rooms, helping organize this thing. Uh, we had to go with Telegram as our usernames, not Hive. Uh, they, they cannot do Hive, it's blocked in Russia and they had some trouble and we just decided to make it simple. Just Telegram username and your real name 
in Russian and that's it. And we can, you know, just uh, when we have to give the tokens, uh, we'll just contact that person directly on Telegram or something. We'll, we'll figure it out. We'll, we'll figure it out. And uh, we use uh, chat uh, as, as our protocol just to keep the consensus and all the results. And it's a, it's a small, it's, it's a group of people who know each other mostly. So it's an existing community. So, and I had also this week, so this was the, the first meeting in Zoom for us, testing, not giving away tokens yet, but just testing the process and they love it. Uh, second, I had two great, amazing pitches that I made this week. First pitch was, uh, was uh, to a party leader of uh, the leading party in this country. And he was, uh, he is a director of an agency that is protecting entrepreneurs in the country. So I pitched them the idea that they can organize the community of volunteers and give them respect on blockchain. And the, the hook was that our president, so, you know, to, two years ago told that every government agency must have a blockchain, must use a blockchain. And I said, this is how you're gonna use, this is how you're gonna use blockchain, not for money, but to print uh, respect tokens and organize community. And the last speech I made was uh, two hours ago at my friend's birthday. They're drinking vodka right now and I'm with you. I had, <laughs> I had to say I have to go, but I pitched him because he's the vice president of a large uh, telecommunication company, a cell phone company. They have over 2000 employees. And I pitched the idea of fractal demo not democracy management. I call it fractal management. This is a new approach in management. And that's, this is how you can organize distributing bonuses among your employees. So if somebody wants to get a bonus, they go to the calls, they report, they communicate, they uh, you know get to meet all each other, you know each other in the company, and they have a pile of uh, you know fiat money from 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 the company to get distributed as bonuses, uh, you know as as uh, you know with all these um, mathematics in um, respect. He loved it, and uh, I, I would love to proceed with that. So if we have a political party and government agency, we have a community of blockchain people, and if we have a, a, a commercial company, a, a corporation, that's going to be uh, three clients that uh, I will have more, all, all of my time just you know uh, working, helping them, creating and uh, managing fractals. That was my week. Awesome. Who do you want to pass it to, Shakruz? Yes. Uh, next on my screen is you, Mike. All right. So uh, this week was continued work on landing pages. Um, and just to put that in context, we don't have a PR firm. I didn't actually have much access to Dan this week. Um, so this was getting clear to whom we have different properties, right? Different um, things, right? We've got the software, the chain, uh, and fractal governance. We've got audiences on each of those landing pages we want to speak to. So I, I did all of that strategy of what is this thing? To whom are we trying to communicate this? Uh, crafted the copy and then ensured that copy was directed at that, those audiences. Um, I did the chain landing page, part of the software landing page. Uh, worked with Thomas on styling and graphics for those that we, again, were appropriate to the audience. Val jumped in, uh, very appreciative to Val for jumping in. I was trying to do all of this myself and uh, luckily he spoke up and said, hey, I could do part of this. Uh, so we got the chain and the software uh, very far along uh, this week, if not very near done. I suspect we'll have it done Monday or Tuesday. Uh, I also learned a little bit of view to get that done. Uh, let's see, that includes SEO, uh, interlinking between pages. A big piece of this was what are what are the what are the you know we're the, to the mission statement. We want to raise it, awareness and grow adoption. You're not going to grow adoption if the calls to action aren't appropriate to that audience, and you don't have them. <laughs> so I did a lot of thinking about given this audience and given this topic. What are the calls to action that are appropriate? What's gonna what's gonna streamline that flow of that person into the right bucket so that they get connected, so that they join the community, so that they use the software, so that they ask the questions they need to ask. Uh, all of that went into planning out and implementing these landing pages. Um, and then uh, on top of that, we designed a developer startup package, a getting started package. Uh, we feel this has been poorly done 
on a lot of projects and including EOS. A lot of us at Block One really, really, really wanted to spend time on developer experience and we just couldn't. So probably half the team is massively crit uh, committed to, to dev experience. So uh, I did some design of how are we gonna share this? What's the easiest way to get it? What's the easiest way not only to do the hello world app to get the basics, but how do you write a real app, right? If you write the hello world app on EOS and then you try to write a real EOS contract, you quickly learn how little you know. And so we wanted to make that transition into actually being able to write real apps uh, smooth and complete. And uh, I think we uh, did a pretty good job getting that ready. And that'll, that'll be part of launch. Our commitment is that's part of launch. All right, that's it for me. Patrick, that turns it over to you. Thank you, Mike. And thank you everyone to be here. That's a privilege to be with you. Uh, about me this week, I have worked a lot, but not for Fractali. Uh, I have worked for um, my consulting into the BI data analytics with my Nova Crypto LLC. And I am also polishing my uh, Pomelo grant, mineweb.io. So I have uh, something great to share soon at end of October with MindWeb that will be on chain. The mind map will be timestamped on chain. I put into the chat here already a link. That's the link that I publish every time that I join a Fractali stand-up meeting to, to, to put your links into this mind map. And it's for a reason because those, those mind maps will be timestamped on chain also. I do that also for Hidden Fractal. I do that for Hidden on EOS. I do that for uh, Alien World Fractal. I have mind maps for every community that I update myself with the links that the people send to me. I am not uh, putting my links uh, only Patrick, but there is also the links of other people. That's totally Fractal, those mind maps. That's very good analogy. I'm working a lot on that. Uh, beside of that, I am contributing uh, with uh, Dancing Joy in Eden Fractal. And we have, uh, at the moment, interim consensus uh, proposals. One is from uh, Dancing Joy himself. Very well done. And we have Tadas Veitikunas also that has made a proposal for interim consensus proposal. And I am uh, supporting Eden Fractal a lot. Uh, I will continue to do this. And I have. Um, take the decision to inject again funds into Eden Fractal in EOS. Uh, I was already contributing with 2,200 EOS, but I will continue to contribute. I will announce that in a couple of days before the next Wednesday I will attend. And uh, yeah, I have also the preparation of the 23rd September, that's next week, with Maurice Vanegas. Nothing to do with Eden with Fractali, but in a way, it's human generated finance. It's in Nigeria, Uganda, Maurice Vanegas. That's the 12th episode in a row. I do the interview. And I have also settled all my interview for October 23rd. That's the 16th workshop in a row since 2020. So I am working a lot. I will continue. I am never disappointed. Also, if I am level at one. So thank you, and I give the mic to the only one, that's my fellow Dance Enjoy. Cool, thank you very much, Patrick, and thank you, Mike and Val, uh, and also uh, I guess Drew Cruz got internet issues, so hopefully he can come back. Um, so I'll start my presentation a bit. Uh, also, Patrick, I don't know if you mentioned it, but a, a pretty direct contribution that you made to uh, practically this week, I think, was your uh, you're just sending 450 EOS each to, to Das and Jorge for research oh, related to fractals. I forget. Yeah. <laughs> I forget. At least you see that's the truth. <laughs> yes, so uh, that, that was much appreciated. And uh, I'll get to that in my presentation. But uh, my presentation might be a bit longer than three minutes, maybe four minutes. But I think since we only have four people and we have lots of time, I think that's okay. Um, but boost, feel free to jump in. If I'm going too long, I'll try to do it as quickly as possible. So this is what I'm doing to help uh, Fractally and Genesis Fractal and Fractal Governance. Um, so one thing, and sorry, Mike, I just gave this presentation to you, so I hope it's not too boring. 
But um, so uh, first of all, just to say, uh, I encourage everybody to join the meetings that Joshua has been hosting. I joined four of these this week. They're every uh, Tuesday at 18 UTC. We talked about the white paper and work with animals and all sorts of helpful things. So we've been having great discussions and that's a good contribution to the community to be there and talk with people. Um, and this past week, well, it was like two weeks ago or a week and a half ago that I sent out the 1,000 EOs to James Mart and Vlad Hammersov for retroactive public goods funding for building the most helpful DAO tools in the world with Eden Fractal, basically enabling people to cooperate with the process of GoFractly on EOS. And I tagged these, and I also pinned this at the top of my Twitter profile so everybody will see it when they first go there, so promoting Eden Fractal and GoFractally. Uh, and then there's a second tweet to... Uh, to encourage people to follow Eden Creators to help everyone cooperate fractally to make the best response experience possible. I made the art and wrote those. And then uh, I also retweeted uh, Patrick's tweet where he tweeted this in response after uh, where he uh, sent 450 EOS to Tadas and Jorge for very helpful contributions in research and development for fractal governance and so forth. I posted these in a bunch of EOS and Eden related chats um, to help spread the word in the EOS community. and. The, three, the, the tweet has gotten some decent uh, engagement with 1,400 uh, impressions and lots of clicks and so forth like that. I also hosted the the 15th Eden Fractal meeting. We had some fun with uh, different filters and so forth and had a great conversation, talked quite a bit about many exciting topics where I always share uh, these presentations as well to help encourage people about Fractally and help spread the word. And then I post the videos on EdenFractal.com slash videos where you can watch them all. Um, I also participated in the Alien Worlds Fractal meeting, the 13th one this week, and very interesting discussions. And as always, I also share the presentations to help encourage people to learn more about Fractally. And I also did an interview. I'm going to be doing an interview series with Dwayne, uh, interviewing Alien Worlds counselors and promoting fractal governance in Alien Worlds. Uh, a, a big contribution this week, I think, was, uh, well, first off, I updated the interim consensus process on EdenCreators.com to explain where Fractally is at with the interim consensus process and team process and so forth, and then uh, link to active proposals and old proposals and resources and videos and timestamps from different discussions where people can learn more about community governance with Fractally. Um, and it also links both to Eden Fractal and Genesis Fractal down here at the bottom. And then I made a proposal for Eden Votes, which is uh, quite a long proposal. Basically, it's an interim consensus process whereby we mint a new token called Votes, and then we vote in an app called Consortium. Um, so it's quite detailed with lots of different uh, examples and specifications and so forth. And then there's also a Google document where people can learn more and also comment. So Tadas and Patrick has made some comments, and Vlad and James Mart have been making comments. I also made a thing about the limitations and what it actually governs over, and also some feedback for Tadasa's proposal with lots of uh, discussion. And then I shared this in the Discord as well uh, with lots of comments to encourage people to read it and share their thoughts. I'll wrap it up pretty soon. Uh, and then I also linked to some questions I asked to Dan Larimer in last week's meeting um, that was about this topic. And then I also posted these on the Eden Creators YouTube channel. I started posting these publicly and I shared more about Eden Bracton and Practically in the Chief Delegate calls this week and the Town Hall this week and in the Helios Rising Twitter space this week and a little bit in the uh, Everything News Weekly report that I wrote this week. And then a bunch of messages in the Eden on EOS chat explaining uh, Eden Fractal and Fractally and how it can help the EOS community. Lots of interesting discussions there and inspired a lot of discussions. Uh, and then that's it, basically. Also, I've been uh, researching AI art, which I think will be really helpful and cool, too. That's one kind of fun thing at the end. Um, yeah, but I'll wrap it up there and hope you enjoyed. Happy to answer any questions or anything. Awesome. Wow, Dan, I had to, I had to consume that. Uh twice that's uh that's a fire hose i don't know how you do it <laughs> i can't speak that fast <laughs> you went in the first round with uh dan yeah yeah incredible incredible but, uh, <laughs> nice sortition it's amazing D dan yeah. you're you're too young to know the micro machines guy right yeah micro which guy micro machines uh, look up micro machines on youtube it's a commercial from like the late 80s uh, he was the he was apparently a Guinness record holder for the fastest talker, and they used yeah. him in their commercials. He speaks okay. uh, five hundred milliseconds. <laughs> He's I the think, fastest in the galaxy. Uh, okay, I'm sorry. Does does I'll anybody have, does anybody have a link for this uh, Zoom meeting? Uh, have Shapros, a what? Uh, Shapros, Shapros is asking for the link for to, to this meeting. Uh, you should be able to just grab on, on the top left where the shield is. Uh, here, I'll put it in uh, yeah, chat. it's a good, it's a good hat. Uh, okay, I'll, um, I'll send it to him. Yeah, and I think he'll drop right back into the breakout room automatically, but if not, Joshua should be watching.
Let's uh, let's give him a minute before we start consensus. Yeah, the micro machines guy that, that that sort of reminds me, especially hearing you you do this twice. <laughs> totally what it reminds me of. <laughs> yeah. I'll have to check out. I hope I'm not speaking too fast and it makes sense. They're just, you know, a lot trying to get across no, in a short I know, I know. <laughs> that, 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 yeah. The other uh the other outdated thing is Max Headroom. You probably know the character, right? Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, well, like a the, I, I didn't know about him. I'd seen the thing and then Brendan Lovejoy sent me a link about him like sometime last year. I don't remember what it was in regards to, uh, but uh it, it was an interesting exploration though. But I've never actually watched the show though. So the the movie, I think it was, um, talked about the TV station uh, or the TV industry trying to study psychologically how do we how do we just cram like they called it like micro ads or something like that, just like this shot of like flickering and audio and all this like uh, tiny tiny high yeah. high bandwidth stream into the human brain, and uh, you know they had people sitting they had this this little wireframe thing of guy watching a tv on a on a chair watching a micro ad and his head exploding <laughs> but, no so, dan is a he's a, a speaker, uh, very, uh, <laughs> dan is no, speaking wish, too, wish, too, too fast too fast yeah i, but I wish i could nice. record you and like stretch you out to like 15 minutes and and uh look at everything going on in the background uh, right yeah uh, well, I, well, how, how are we doing how are we doing with Cruz? is he uh, yeah, uh, he, he is waiting for, for uh, anything from Joshua because uh, he got to the main room and now Joshua needs to him to send to, to his room. Uh, have you tried messaging Joshua? I don't know where I would message him. Uh, he is no more kept, uh, in this room. On Telegram, I didn't get a quick response. Yeah, yeah. This is where our uh, application is going to be much, much better in, in this regard. Because some, somebody just breaks out. Um, do Do you mean that we can use uh, soon this uh, app that you have used to to vote? The the apps uh, that you have. Uh, yeah, that you yeah. Have... I'm referring to the app we are building for this. We're not saying we're not saying anything about like it coming sooner. No, no, no I, I was I was referring to the app where Mike Manfredi was in, uh, Dancing, uh, Daniel Larimer was in, Gregory Wexler was in. You were uh, putting the consensus. You make a demonstration yep. of of this tool yep. two time. I was thinking, can you cannot we use this tool soon? Or... We're uh, we need to fix the bugs we ran into. We we trial ran it. I don't know if you were here ah, for that meeting, but we trial ran it and we had enough bugs that we want to fix those before we try it again. Okay, okay. And I I don't want to. I don't want. I obviously want to wait for Shakruz, but I don't want to run out of time. I suggest we start. Everybody aligned with that or? Um, I'm just uh, he's wondering if uh, he didn't uh, get any response from Joshua yet, and he's wondering if he can. <laughs> he will not lose his respect. I, I think uh, level three is already reserved for him. Uh, I think we'll vote him somewhere in, and as long as he aligns with our vote, he'll get he'll get the respect. We know he was here, and we mm -hmm. did hear his presentation, so he can yeah. be part of the report. Uh, I mean, but... I think it would be fair to put, put him maybe. Uh, I think uh, level five is. Well, let, let's see where he lands. Four, four, four. I think we'll. I think eight, we uh, eight, we heard his presentation. Eight, so, eight. all right, let's let's start at the top. Uh, level eight. Anybody have any questions before we do that vote? Um, I don't have any questions, and I suppose. Uh, Shakruz also didn't hear the past couple of presentations. I was thinking maybe we could even start a new Zoom room, but I think that, that might just be risking us losing everything. So I guess I will just do it here yeah. and hopefully you can join back. Yeah, logistics are my concern. Mm. All right, let's do level eight. Ready, three, two, one. Go. Ready. Ready. 
Okay, hold on. Cool. Um, I appreciate that, everybody. Uh, I I really hesitated to vote. Uh, oh, Dan, you're just like every week. It's impressive, like every freaking week. So uh, I almost voted for you. But one of the things I'm realizing in my current position is I'm doing what's necessary, which is not always the most exciting. <laughs> uh, yeah. So uh, it's it's like a new thing I've learned to value uh, the thing that will actually get us over the the finish line. So I'm I'm actually I'm actually willing very much to vote for myself this week. Um, Patrick, is there anything you want to say? Uh, uh, to be honest, I will vote for you, Mike, as level eight. But um, yeah, I was thinking uh, for Dan because he do a great job uh, with the hidden fractal. Every community, we are in the same boat. And I was thinking uh, uh, I would give him a level eight, but uh, at the same time, I am happy that you are level eight, Mike. So that's okay. I have nothing okay. to. And I, I have a question for them. Uh, do, do you have some, uh, I don't know, maybe just ballpark figure? How much time do you spend on uh, each fractal's uh, Eden fractal? What is the share of your contribution to Eden fractal and with Genesis fractal? Yeah, um, I think we discussed yeah, some time. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, I'm sorry, what was that last thing that you said there? Yeah, what, what is the share uh, of your contribution between uh, Genesis Fractal and Eden Fractal? Yeah, um, thanks for asking. I think I, uh, I think you asked a similar question last week too. Um, and it, it's rather difficult for me to like categorize them. Oh, Shakur is back. Awesome. Um, hey, Shakur. <laughs> I'm glad you can make it back. <laughs> um, yeah, so um, they're both. Like in my mind, every contribution towards uh, Eden Fractal is contribution towards Genesis Fractal in a sense, and vice versa as well. Because I'm seeing, like, say, for example, when I'm writing a proposal for the, uh, the 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 Eden Fractal consensus process, then um, or like uh, sharing the tweet about how I uh, sent the donation or, or sent the uh, funding to James and Vi for building those tools. Like, those are things that I'm more so, I guess sharing with the EOS community because I'm marketing towards the EOS community and promoting it towards the EOS community. But at the same time, like they're both useful for the missions and the goals of the Janus Fractal and all the community members. And and and, and likewise, when I'm doing something specifically for uh, Janus Fractal, I think it's helpful for both. So um, I don't know. I, I, I wish I can give you like a more straightforward answer. I'm not sure if, if that's exactly what you're looking for. But to me, like they're very much intertwined. So it's difficult to separate them or categorize them. All right. Thank you. Yeah. And it looks like you spent all your uh working time on on these two fractals and that right. would yes. be the same answer like, for me do you have, any full, exactly do you have any full time job or you're just uh, spending all your time on working on uh, um so all my time is uh essentially all uh, is spent on uh eden fractal and genesis fractal and alien worlds factor right now it's pretty much full-time dedicated to fractal and fractal governance i was previously working for eos nation uh writing the everything news weekly report and hosting the eos hot sauce and doing some other work uh for the past six months but as of last week i'm not working uh with in that job anymore and so pretty much all the time is spent uh promoting fractal governance with fractals mm -hmm. Okay, okay guys, we're running short on time. Let's get back to voting. Okay. Um, level seven. Good. Any any questions before we do level seven? Who is eight? Mike. Uh, uh, Mike. I, I am. Oh. Okay. <laughs> um, All right. Uh, yeah. Three, two, one. Okay, I'll align with everybody on Dan. Uh, Shakruz, anything you want to say to align yeah, on Dan? I feel like I missed uh, on, on Dan's pitch, and that's why everyone is for Dan. And I agree to support Dan because, you know, um, he's he's doing a great job. And, well, I'm excited about everything, but Dan, yeah, let's make it Dan. Cool. Okay, great. Thanks, everybody. And thanks, Shakruz. Uh, level six, three, two, one.
Okay, Patrick and Dan, anything you want to say? Um, I had some questions. I don't know if you have time, but um, the, the stuff that you were mentioning, Sir Cruz, sounded really cool between uh, talking with the people in the government and the different uh, organizations about uh, fractally. But then uh, I was also specifically curious, you said there were 32 participants in the Roy Fractal meeting. So that seems like a quite a large participation. Um, so I was just curious if I heard that correctly. And then also, um, if you have any links to the Roy Fractal, I think I asked you in the past and you said it's in Russian, so it's difficult to have links, but I'd, I'd be interested to, I don't know, hear any more about that in the short amount of time we have. I have a recording on YouTube, uh, so you can watch it and you can uh, hear about it. And, and uh, you, you can join the group on, on Telegram and uh, we have a channel. And uh, yeah, it's, it's a working fractal. And 32 is just the beginning because these are leaders. And they're gonna, you know, teach their teams how to do fractal, and so. Um, and what? what and, is we, and we have a lot of women, by the way. We had. Do you women. want to change your vote, Mike, for Jacques Cruz? What is no, no, what is I, 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 I want to vote for Val because you know we need the blockchain. You know, I, we can yes, get a lot of people. Don't worry about that. We'll have a lot of people. It's it's an easy sell. <laughs> <laughs> So I, I wasn't doing full time this week. Uh, I did uh, these speeches because I had already things in progress, you know, connections and, and people, you know, know about what I'm doing. No, you know, it just, it just happened. Uh, my full time work this week was coding a Telegram bot with another blockchain that is uh, in the Roy Fractal, but is a payment blockchain that I'm going to connect and, and move to Fractally later. But this is a different story. It wasn't so it, it wasn't that much time as well did this week so it, it will be fair to give it to Val please okay thanks guys okay. cool all right level five three two one Patrick I like the shorthand I, I think I, I should go. I, I'm just committed to make sure I can spell it each time. So I, I, I type in it out. <laughs> I think I think we might call you Shaq. I think that's a cooler. Uh, <laughs> 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 All right, cool. So that gives us our ordering. And yeah, I, I'll, I'll actually jump on with that and say, because I think it really needs to be said. Shakru is like, nothing just happens. Like there are plenty of other people on this planet who doesn't just have the conversations you're having. <laughs> so uh the the connecting of these communities the growing of adoption it's all just critical stuff really really value what you're doing um you you uh you have this capacity to make these like truly strategic interesting interconnections uh yeah, so yeah. i i wish we had happens. a few level eight <laughs> out there. we also <laughs> yeah, we also plan planning with chakras to launch uh, our russian speaking fractal for this um to that aligned with uh, the same goals as this fractal as Genesis fractal. Probably we can put some sub fractal. Yeah, we have to All do right. that. Well, we still we still have uh, well, if you have Russians, you know, Russian speaking people uh, needing uh, you know developer consulting, anything, you can just you know send them to me and uh, I'll help them uh, accommodate and do things. Maybe we'll do a team. Because I'm not sure if we want if we can do a, a complete. You can fractal. republish. It, it's a lot. It's a lot of work to do a complete fractal, and it's it's a commitment, and it's it's a heavyweight thing. Of course, Shakruzi is a misspeller. I see it, Shakruzi. That's my, that's the cute. I name. would say you in private, <laughs> but uh, I say you, I say you in public. Shakruzi. Yeah, but we, uh, I think uh, we so, we'll, just we'll oh. need to watch this. It's, it's question of time. I mean, let me well, thank you for all the quick. respect for let, me. Thank you. Uh, let me. Uh, let anybody, anybody have any issues with uh, other than Shakruz's name formally spelled wrong? Uh, order and spelling, everything look good? Yeah, it looks good. Thank you, man. All right, like I'm going to go vote like now. The last week or two weeks. That's nice. Do we have uh, five uh, link? Yeah, please. Uh, uh, post I, can have link. Link. I can repost it here. Oh, uh, where is go. this link? Oh, yeah. I got it. Okay. Perfect. And then please say your name, even though that feels weird for you, it's easier to hear. Please say your name once you voted, Mike. Or I should Mike. rather say vote. Submitted your consensus report. Hmm. 
So can't like copy it. I, I cannot yeah. copy it from, from, from the chat. I am not allowed to copy paste from this uh, description yeah. chat. Yes, I'm here. Okay. I have yeah, to rewrite I'm... all what you have uh, right. <laughs> okay. I noticed so, that. It wasn't yeah, like that that's in the limitation meeting. Yeah, that's with Zoom. It must be because Josh is doing a new Zoom tool coming, account. If you new tool coming, we will see. I am very happy. Usually, usually there's a little three, uh, three dot button next so to it. So I have to rewrite all what you write. Uh, you can copy yeah, from Hive. If you go to Hive post, uh, there is, you can copy it from there. The I, have, I think I have the same issue as Zoom. The Zoom. Cruise. Same. Voilà. At Nova Crypto LFT. Okay, I have my list. I publish on the beautiful Hive, the best uh, Hive in the galaxy. Okay. Okay. I'm good. Posted. Ali Mike, at Dancing Joy, at Val, at Chakruz. Okay, okay. I publish that. Yeah, we have some limitation in Zoom. And we have the risk to quit the entire Zoom before in the first round I was fast uh, clicking the, the wrong button and I will be uh, away of all the, the event of today. But, uh, well, again, while we have a few more minutes, uh, I just want to thank you guys. Um, we, we're, we are faithfully getting the critical path done uh to get the chain out and to get the tech out asap and man it's super 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 helpful to have you guys out there spreading the word and getting people on board and sharing the ideas it, it's critical and we we don't have time to do that uh yeah. we are looking at a pr firm but even with a pr firm that's not what they're going to do so really really value what you guys are building and who you're bringing into the community this has been an amazing community. That's not a surprise to me, but at the same time, it's kind of a surprise each time I run into the individuals and go like, wow, these, this is just really awesome people. <laughs> these are totally people I'd hang out with. So appreciate all the work you guys are doing while we're, while we're building stuff. Yeah, I would I, say I also, wanna, yeah, sorry. Yes, please, please. I, I would say also the same for me. Uh, I am happy to have met uh, Dancing Joy, Chakruz, and uh, Mike, Vlad, uh, sorry, Valentin, Valentine, yeah. and, yes. and other people into these uh, meetings that will never uh, abuse since the beginning. But um, I saw more going, more going on. Collaboration is very key, and uh, make a good uh, fun, uh, fun uh, talk and and videos, workshop. Uh, I co-host with Dancing Joy because he speak at the pace very. I and myself, I speak with my Swiss English, and that, that's make a good uh, pendulum. I love to co-host with him. I love to share with Chakros, also a lovely man. And you are all uh, fantastic, so I am very happy to be uh, with you. Yeah. Patrick, I don't think I knew that. You're in Switzerland? I, I am in Switzerland, yeah. yeah. Ah, I didn't know that. OK, so Swiss French. <laughs> I, I heard French accent. I didn't know it was Swiss French. Yeah, I can speak French, German, Spanish, English, wow. uh, and <laughs> Italian if I want. But uh, awesome. I limit myself to, <laughs> to English. That's my main language that I have to, to be better. And uh, I try to do the best with my video workshop. And I am very happy, resilient. And also, if I am leveled like today, again, at the bottom, but for me, I said to Dan, the most important into Eden Fractal also, that's the participation, that's the collaboration. <clears throat> the voting part uh, uh, into breakout room is a kind of, uh, let's say, joke, but I don't minimize the, um, your, your level. Huh? I just say it's not the most important. But uh, because, you know, <clears throat> today we are voting into this breakout room and the most important is what is happening when the blockchain will be on, uh, that we continue. We are not just hero for one day. We have to we have to continue. So that's nice relationship that we are doing here. And who knows, that could be something uh, game changing for the world. So yeah. I am very uh, happy. Well, Patrick, you you have more success with languages than I do. Um, but fr uh, from from 
the mind of Sorry someone for who my loves bad stuff. English. I know that's a that's no, a, that's, no. that's a pain I, in the ass to 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 let me speak because I speak like a like a cow or like a no no like a no dog. no. <laughs> you, you don't get to say that about yourself. Five languages? No, you don't get to criticize your language. No, I can barely speak a third. My German has gotten very very rusty. But I do yeah. want to share a resource if you're interested. This is my my go-to method if I want to study um, a new language. I start with pronunciation, and yes. I love this resource. Just thank cool, you very much cool for the share. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, my pronu pronunciation is very um, sometimes I say a word and I think that will be understood, and I have someone asking me what you said. <laughs> it was really hard when I studied Spanish, and this is what helped me. So you speak yeah. Spanish, yeah? I, I speak Spanish best. I speak English, Spanish, and German in that order. Wow. My German is terrible now because of Spanish, but it, it comes back the more I use it. Uh, were you already into the fractal of Jorge Ramos? I have into it in my schedule, but I ha I have a meeting. I have a weekly meeting. I have also. It. I, yeah, I have also. Yeah, maybe we uh, see uh, us there. The, the yeah. The moment I can cancel that meeting one week, I'm going to join the, the Spanish fractal. I can't wait. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So that was a nice moment. Thank you, man. And thank you all. We have 46 seconds, 45, to say three, two, one, zero. Mer Go fractally. <laughs> Go fractally. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. Oh, and don't miss the October 23rd. I have an update with Dancing Joy about Eden Fractal update number two. And we will make a shout out for sure to Fractali and Jacques Rose, Valentine, and Mike, the man. Sure. Don't awesome. miss October 23rd, 1530. Looking say? forward to it. It'd be cool to the interviews with everybody. The, workshop number six. Yeah, thanks, everybody. Great meeting. Thank, thank you. Thanks, everybody. Thank you, everybody. Bye. Bye everyone did you enjoy the surprise problem with the copy and paste function <laughs> surprise yes <laughs> josh is playing tricks on us <laughs> oh man my my apologies i will i will resolve that for next week um well, that's one of my first questions i have personally is what what did you guys think about our transition uh process rather than how we've been doing it which is kind of like almost feels like uh well, so long, losers. We'll see you next week. It's pretty. It's pretty brash. Uh, it's this is a... much better, Josh. This is much <laughs> yeah. fairer to the Genesis Fractal overall. Yeah, and I'm glad that we ha we should have to deal with the pain of the copy and paste. And we had a user drop out of our my round two. We lost Fabrice, and then we had to like struggle to bring him back in. And we had to ping yeah. you, bring you out of your meeting to help us. And so. You know, I'm glad that the round two people had to sort of deal with those issues instead of hoisting it onto the round one people. There was Absolutely. just a there was just a little technical issue into the zoom into the Zoom chat. We were not able to copy what is written when, um, for example, Mike. Yeah, I was with Mike. He was uh, writing the the order of the to post on Hive. So our consensus and. I was not able myself and others to to copy what is written into the discussion chat to post that on Hive. I have to rewrite myself. So there was a little issue into the copy paste. Yeah, the that's the chat. that's the joke I was making in the in the beginning. I'll I'll fix that for next week if we're going to continue using this process. And shout ah. out to to Jorge for putting pressure on me to make sure we had a different way to do it. Ah, Go okay. ahead, Mike. Yeah, thanks, Patrick. Okay. The other thing, um, the only very minor thing is uh, I would be very explicit before you share the link when you want everybody to move. Um, that was a little bit unclear. Just so we know, we're going to hang out here and chat for five minutes, zero minutes, whatever you choose, uh, just so people know when to, to swap over. Yeah, um, that's, a, that's a good point. And the joke part, I was thinking I was in, in round two before, and I was uh, with Pascal, we were discussing in room one, and we were thinking we were already in room two, and suddenly I said, are, are we really in, in round two? And no, we were not, so we have just the time to go in, in round two. But that was the experiment uh, phase, you know. So, but we have fun, we have fun. 
it's so a, yeah, I have a, today, I have to say. I have a strategy in life that I apply to everything. Of course, everything starts with dating. I apply everything to relationships and dating first. And the rule is average over time. <laughs> as soon as a buddy of mine tells me like, oh my God, I met the most amazing woman. And I'm like, okay, average over time. Glad you're happy now, but average over time. And uh, I've been averaging over time with round two. And I just want to say, I, I've now, I feel like I've averaged enough to say the following. Uh, I think the two rounds really are getting the job done extraordinarily well. The, it doesn't mean it's always easy or fast ranking. Uh, there are times when it's, you know, a really tight debate and whatnot, but I really do get the experience that the tightness to the mission, the uh, evaluation according to the mission is uh, better in round two. It's easier. The discussion, again, even if heated or hard, the discussion tends to be easier to, to navigate. Um, there's a distinct quality most weeks for me between round one and round two. So I think that part's working really well. That's all. That's great. Reese, I'll, I'll pass the token over to you. Yeah, it mean, means a lot to me coming coming from you. Um, that's your that's your feedback so far. Go ahead, Fabrice. And I'm curious, what did you do during your time? Did you make a meal? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, just to highlight a point for improvement, Joshua and the team, in the sense that I was in the second round and I have a glitch on my computer, the battery, the time I went off, I couldn't get the link to come back to the second round. So it took me a kind of maybe some point of improvement. I don't know how we can organize that. Just in case you happen to be on, on in your Zoom, just you have a glitch, how do you come back? I had to go to the first room and then try to get people who are having a good discussion to send me back the link. So maybe, I don't know how, maybe you can send the link somewhere who is more public in case, you know, you, you happen to, maybe your battery go down and you're off on the first, on, on, the, on, the, on, on the meeting. That's what happened to me. It's just a point for improvement maybe on the process. Yeah, again, kind of explicitly stating. So that wasn't something that was mentioned, but what we ended up doing was uh, posting the link in the public Telegram group. Okay. Um, so maybe if if that if enough people are there, maybe we can just say, hey, go to the Telegram group, and we just run the risk of them not having uh, the link. They're not already in the Telegram group for some reason. But thanks, thanks for brief. Those are two really good sticking points besides the copy and paste issue. Uh, sorry, guys, I have to go. Uh, I want just to say that was a uh, yeah, baby uh, Saturday today with you guys. So uh, I'm very happy to be with you into this uh, fractal genesis. And Thank also you, shout out to everyone, Eden Fractal, Fractali uh, Colombia, Fractali uh, Uzbekistan, Fractali everywhere. Okay. So you are before I leave, three, two, one, zero. Oh. Go fractally. Thanks, Patrick. Have a good weekend. Oh, baby. Have a good weekend. Yeah, baby bye. moment. Bye. 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 Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So we've got a few more minutes left in our in our planned meeting. There was some discussion happening before we went into the breakout rooms. I don't know if you guys want to put the pin back out on that or put it back in. Uh I think we put a pin in it, so we'll pull the pin out if you guys want. Uh, Mark's got his hand up. Go ahead, Mark. Yeah, just that hypha DAO movement going on with EOS. So introducing that as an introduction uh, to uh, uh, discussion of the differences between fractally and hypha DAO, uh, because maybe it's taking some traction in the uh, EOS community. Uh, I know little about hypha DAO. I haven't done any any dive on their architecture versus fractally. Yeah. And I don't know. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, let me I'm I'm quite familiar with Haifa, so let me uh give you give you my estimation. I would kind of le I would maybe say what Haifa is enabling it would would work really well for teams that are building fractals. I, I kind of look at it like uh groups and 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 networks. So I I liken uh fractally to being able to build networks and uh Maybe at the at, in the early stages, fractally won't do everything that a team possibly wants to do. Uh, so maybe they would they would all come together on the same network, but they might end up using uh, Haifa to organize as as a team. Haifa really lends itself to like a sociocracy and holacracy type of 
ways of organizing. And I think it is interesting to pay attention to all the different ways that people are doing things in the DAO space. One thing that's notable from my immersion in the DAO space is people are really starting to get very modularized with it. Also, what a DAO actually is and what the market says a DAO is are quite different, <laughs> which is which is interesting. Hard to argue with the market, but that's um, just my perspective a little bit. And uh, I think it's great that uh, Hypha is getting some support out there. And I hope that eventually Hypha will form a fractal. I have, I'm working on that in the background, trying to get those guys to adopt um, what, what we're doing. So hopefully there's a merging. Uh, oh, uh, let me just go at the top of the list. We've got Marco and then Matt and then Felix and then Dan. Uh, I actually put together a few notes uh, for this week's briefing on Hyphodel. Um, and Brandon Lovejoy compared it to uh, what's going on um, in you know, since Christmas, which leads to my conclusion here. Of, um, if you combine the speed of virtually instant DAO creation, which uh, Eves uh, said would be a compared to uh, getting a Facebook account or uh, just joining uh, Discord chat. Uh, combine that with uh, the IBC, which launches right after Antelope, um, and EVM, which uh, is said to be the same. Um, EOS uh, resembles, that's why Brandon Lovejoy said it, um, some of the uh, fantastic dreams that we had about blockchain. Um, I don't know how real it is to expect Hypha down to make it as easy as uh, joining Facebook, but uh, we've seen things progress pretty quickly um, when it comes to liquidity pools, and, which we were discussing in the other room, um, or dApps and things like that, that we're supposed to get tools for. Um, so I just thought I'd throw that out there. Oh, um, Bywire did an uh, analysis on it. They got 800,000 in grant money. Uh, we talked about um, not just tools, but uh, managing DAOs as well. And um, well, anyway, I'll leave it at that. Yeah. Um, cool. Go ahead, Matt. Uh, two things. Yeah, uh, if someone, uh, I don't have permission to save the chat, but if someone d figures out a way to save it, the transcript of the chat, and can forward that to me, uh, I try to maintain a database of all of our past meetings. So. Uh, if that's possible, Josh, I don't know if you can do that or not. I Maybe we can't do it till we, you know, reconfigure the meeting. The second thing is a message to Team Fractally, and I think I've lost uh, Brandon and Mike. And Thomas, if you're still around, um, I wanted to pass along to you. So you've acknowledged, so Fractally has acknowledged that the API to, for the blockchain is C++ and Rust. And um, Rust is a big part of my um something that I work on uh, in my day job. And I know that they are having a governance issue uh, as a community. And so there may be an opportunity for you as being a part of the Rust community to make sure that they understand that there's a new, you know, an alternate way that may benefit, you know, Rust, the ecosystem to uh, not only suit your needs, but to suit everyone's needs because they're struggling with governance right now. Um, so I just want to pass that along to you as an opportunity. Any, any comments, Thomas? Or just for the for the record on the recording? Okay. So everyone's struggling with governance right now in the world. It seems to be a, uh, a major part of human development and evolution that we apparently have to get right or we'll just keep repeating things. <laughs> uh, go ahead, Felix. Okay, cool. Thank you. Yeah, I just wanted to add uh, some, you know, we're talking about Haifa. Uh, so Chris Barnes, he he participates in the Eden Fractal. And I, I think he's like a big, he's he's got to be a big player in that, I think, with getting Eden involved. So I don't know how much he knows as far as like the the partnership with uh, the ENF. So uh, I know he, he does plan on participating in these meetings too. So uh, he may be able to bring a little bit more insight on that. Uh, but I, I do think it is interesting, though, too. I think it's, it's probably wise for us to also explore other uh, DAO communities that have tools that are out 
uh, to see what they're doing and then to see where, you know, what we could potentially take from that and apply to what we're doing. And then also reaching out to those communities and showing them what we have and then onboarding potentially those communities also. Uh, so one, one thing that was shared with a, a participant from the Eden Fractal this past meeting was a, this, this uh, project called Coordinate. Uh, so I just shared it in the chat right now so you guys can check it out. But uh, I guess it's a it's it's just interesting, like the first like the page, it says reinventing compensation for Web3. So I haven't dove into it, but it, it looks like it sounds similar to what we're doing here with Fractally. But this is over on on Ethereum. So, again, I think it's just uh, I just like to share this to the community here, too, just uh, in case anyone wants to explore that as well, since we're we were talking about Haifa. But but yeah, thank you. Yeah, I think doing doing analysis and reviews of some of these tools could could be useful contribution um, in like especially if it's like a YouTube video because it might get picked up by people in those existing communities and then they learn about fractally and then vice versa because we can compare and contrast things. I think coordinate is another good example of like how things are getting kind of modular with uh, with DAOs. Um, I'm really into this kind of stuff, looking at the DAO community in general. Um, so if, if that's something that you're passionate about, or if you have any questions, just reach out to me. I'm happy to um, point, point you in directions, depending on what you're looking for. Go ahead, Dan. Yeah, thanks, Joshua. Thanks for thanks everybody. Um, a few thoughts here. Um, one, uh, the meeting that Joshua hosts on, I believe, Thursdays, Building the Next Generation of DAOs. Um, is maybe a good place to discuss these as well and to invite people uh, who are interested in other DAO communities as well as these meetings, of course, as well. Um, Coordinate is also very interesting and cool. Um, I think practically has a lot of benefits over it, but it, it can certainly be useful. I think it should be experimented with and learned about the founder or one of the founders like Trek Top or something like that. Josh, you put out a tweet sometime with a interview um, and a quote that he did on like Bankless or something like that. It was really interesting. So yeah, I encourage people to check out coordinate and trekacoptery or whatever his name is he has a lot of great thoughts i also just shared the uh link to the twitter account of the person who joined the eden fractal his name is shans uh and that's who felix was referring to um and he actually he, he describes himself as a DAO tooler so he's done a lot of research into DAO tooling i'm also uh I'm, I'm in communication with him and we'll be encouraging him to join these genesis fractal meetings too he's a fan of practically and so forth so there's a lot of good resources about tools there and yeah i've also been following a lot of the tools that josh has been working on like sobel and d work there's a lot of interesting tools that are helpful um so yeah i agree with what felix is saying encouraging people to learn about these uh and then about the hypha i've also been following hypha for a while and um interested to learn more there's a lot of things i'm still learning but one thing that uh i think might be relevant to add here helpful to add here um is well for one thing i've also been looking into aragon the, the person shan's also a, a big contributor to aragon and so i've been looking into it quite a bit and if you remember in the last like five pages of the factory white paper it has a comparison of aragon and aragon court and so forth uh and there's a bottom line which is on the last page which says the uh, bottom line is that fractally is a consensus building process that is not token weighted or wealth weighted and is resistant to civil attacks while, whereas aragon is a consensus breaking oracle that is only as good as the unstated, ill-defined, ad hoc, off-chain consensus building process. There's also more here. Um, basically, Dan and the practical team say they're really excited about Aragon and the community uh, and hope they can work together. But I do think that there's like a really important statement in there in that uh, as far as I've seen, like practically in practical governance, it's a consensus building process. Like none of these other DAO tools have these processes whereby people come together, have community meetings, and then reach consensus as to where to form. So I feel like practically is a central component and, you know, tools like Haifa and Aragon will be added onto that, but that's a very unique and very valuable part of practically. Um, and the last five pages of the white paper explain more details about that. Yeah, way to really kind of ground it down and in, in context there, Dan. Appreciate that. <laughs> Thanks. Um, Happy to help. And I, I agree that Thursday meeting is perfect to discuss uh, DAO tooling. Go ahead, Duane. Yeah, we discussed the uh, HyperDAO a little bit, and uh, Gregory was uh, driving, so he wasn't able to attend this. But one of the biggest, from his standpoint, he's he's working on the user agreement, is the legal standpoint. When you start one of these organizations, just having a DAO out of the box, which uses a corporate model, which puts you at risk of just a general partnership, is one of the narratives once that user agreement comes out that we can really... Uh, include of what the difference is between our consensus model and how we can be protected as a group. 
right? Um, I have a lot of groups that are subgroups that are communities within the gaming industry and in the wax industry, wax ecosystem and alien worlds. And a lot of them are, are saying, hey, we're just going to use snapshot to come to consensus. How could I use this? So if we could have a coordinated countdown to launch marketing with very specific reasons what our value is, uh, I think the uh, a large part of our success in growing fractally is going to be marketing to these other groups that are, you know, they're, they're tackling these problems. They have a community. They have some shared assets. They think a DAO is going to solve it all. Uh, how do we concisely bring that narrative to these different groups? And uh, uh, sure, we could hire outside PR firms, but we know this and are passionate about this. Um, yeah, I, I'd uh, challenge us all to kind of have, I'm not sure if we need to really do a team of this, but that marketing to these other groups is what's going to uh, lead to success in my mind to, uh, to, to fractally. Yeah, really, really good points. Um, I saw a post from uh, Balaji, the author of the Network State, and he and, and it was like a tweet thread. He was he was kind of poking fun at PR agencies, and he was basically making the point. I actually sent this to Gregory because Gregory Gregory's not looking for a PR agency per per se, but he wants what he's looking for to to have to people that have connections and stuff. And nowadays, it's pretty much influencers if you can. If you can get influencers involved in your community, then you can go direct to the market, direct direct audiences. Um, so in, interesting to think about. Uh, go ahead, Jorge. Yeah. Um, yesterday, I was in Felix newly organized meetings about growing your own fractal, and um, I'm wondering what do you guys think about uh, live streaming these sessions. Uh, for example, via YouTube, so that people can see the consensus arrival on time and maybe do some bets about it and have fun, uh, just like a soccer tournament. Sounds really fun to me. With the UI, I think. The UI. Yeah, it would definitely be good marketing for the for the UI once we have that. Um, we can definitely live stream in Zoom. It's difficult to live stream the uh, the breakout rooms, but one thing we would need to do is come to consensus on, I mean, we don't have to, but it, for the marketing to be effective, we might need to create a community-driven uh, YouTube channel. Just as an example, we could also stream other places and maybe several people need the ability to uh, stream to that particular channel. So it would be a community-run media asset, kind of like gofractally.com uh, is supposed to be which is another um, larger topic to think about. Um, GoFractally.com is supposed to be community driven. It's supposed to be managed by the members of the Genesis Fractal. And uh, there's not really a problem right now, but um, maybe we need to put a little more thought into, uh, and Genesis Fractal needs to feel like that it that's its thing to steward, um, which would include the, the making, we talked about this, I think in the, Friday or Thursday meeting, like when, when a new fractal is formed or, or the early stages of one, and we create a group in there, um, there's a little bit, and we're going to build this into the course material, but there's a little bit of education that needs to go into like, here's how, like, here's how to use this space, uh, like how to use this equivalent of a Facebook group, kind of, um, if you, here's like a checklist, here's what it might look like when it's fully set up. So one, one thing that I pointed out to Jorge, and this would be for all the other fractal founders, I guess I'll just do some screen share real quick. If you go, um, if you go into one of these, like the Genesis fractal, um, and you go, if you're brand new, welcome content will pop up. But if you've been around for a while, you have to go to, to the bottom of the activity feed, or you go to the discovery page, and we've got a welcome series. And the welcome series for your fractal might look different, but Jorge was mentioning some things in a meeting this week. Um, about about this group and how one of the things they do is they want to introduce them to more equal animals. Also, if you have an event, I would recommend pinning that as a featured item. Um, they they recommend uh, the Spanish speaking version of more equal animals and the Spanish version of the white paper. And they have they have audios, they have uh, they have text versions, um, and so 
technically all of that stuff should probably be here right in the in the welcome series was something that I was mentioning to Jorge and I don't think he even knew that that was a possibility to do this um so these you know if you've already done this like Pascal is becoming an expert at uh setting these up he set up with several groups in here so far um if if we can help people get the most out of what our interim tools are like gofractally.com that would be useful. And so since this is supposed to be a community driven asset, I want you guys to keep that in mind that, you know, do we have all the processes that, that we need for this? And also, um, do we need to create community driven social media assets separate from what Fractally has? Um, and would we be using the Go Fractally brand for that? I guess it, it, uh, we could be using multiple different brands. Um, but I think, I think Go Fractally is our interim brand, at least for now. Um, more than Genesis Fractal, but I don't know if anyone else has an opinion on that. So just wanted to throw that out there for us to be thinking about. And Fabrice, I see you have your hand up. Go ahead. Yes, thank you, Joshua. Maybe just a point of uh, clarification. What's the difference between when you go and go fractally, a team and a fractal? It's something that I'm kind of, a team is a fractal or can you maybe help me understand? Oh, yeah, I mean, in a perfect world, every fractal would have a team that that is part of the Genesis fractal, uh, in my, in my mind. But there there is no team right now on the uh, on the GoFractally.com site. We just have it used to be called groups, but now it's called fractals. So we have groups, kind of like Facebook groups for each fractal, and then we have uh, courses in, and we have three courses. And basically, a fractal and a course is a space. Um, by Mighty Network's new definitions when they make their UI changes here soon. Um, so there's there's no way to look at or organize a team. I could um, I could enable a, a setting uh, in in the GoFractally site. Like I used to have something in here called Spectrums, and um, and it allowed us. Let me see if I can find the setting real quick. Um, yeah, I'm not, I'm not actually, you know, it's, it's in the member section. So we can categorize ourselves as members, but you can't be assigned. So you have to self-select a category. So technically we could maybe um, create something where teams can be an option and you can select your team. But the problem is that members, um, yeah, I'm not sure how to enable the setting. Members would be able to select, like, let's say there was a category here and you could only choose one that you're a part of. So if you are part of a team, you could you could go and choose that category and say you're part of that team. It could also be like a profession. It could be uh, age. Uh, you know, there's many different yeah. things that it could be, but there can only be one category that you choose as a member. And the only issue with it is anyone can choose that category. So people could say they're part of your team because they don't, you know, they're they're being dishonest or they or they don't understand the purpose of that category. So it would kind of get to look a bit a little bit confusing, uh, but we could uh, we could create when Mighty Networks makes their changes, uh, their new changes they've been working on. We can create a section for teams, um, so that's probably something we'd want to do. Uh, so, we go go ahead, Fabrice. So if I understand why I can be part of a fractal without being part of a team, is it or do I need to be part of a team? before joining a fractal, how is it set up? Because it's a bit, I'm not sure. If I want to create a team, I create a team and then as part of the process of creating a team, I can join you and we create a fractal as part of that team. Is it the process I'm trying to? Yeah, I, that's how I would do it. I would form okay. a team and then I would eventually form a, I would, that team would be the founding team for a fractal, which oh, okay. is a process I'm going through myself right now. But um, I don't know about the other fractals, but to, I think the Genesis fractal might be the only fractal that's using teams. Um, and all these other groups are just frac fractals and in different stages of development. And confirm okay. that for uh, all of them except um, the uh, Spanish. The Spanish one is using teams, Jorge? Oh, he, he can't confirm because he's not involved, but Jorge is saying no, okay. Yeah, so They're just not. Genesis Fractals using Teams right now. Uh, go ahead, Chris. And we're getting close to the half hour mark, so I think maybe we'll wrap it up from here. Uh, there was another discussion I thought you guys wanted to have, and I don't think we got into that topic, but maybe we can continue uh, in the site or in uh, Telegram. 
Well, I just wanted to say we were having some interesting conversations over in the the main Zoom meeting. Y'all missed out on, but I think we're all migrating over here now. So expect some new people showing up. Okay. Yeah. So what? How? What's the feedback, uh, Chris? How How was the transition today versus the previous weeks? Uh, I guess some people in round two showed up a little later than other people. I guess they didn't see the link in the chat. And then so I know at least one person, I think it was Fabrice got kicked out of zoom or something. And then he ended up going back in the main room. So, and he needed the link for the round two. So that may be an issue. I'm not sure. Yeah. We, we were able to get that, get that straightened out. And so next week I'll explicitly mention uh, that, you know, let us know in the tele, the public telegram group and we'll drop the zoom link there. Um, okay. Any, anyone else, uh, who was in, I uh, did not move on to round two today. How did you feel about the transition process? What do you guys prefer to be kicked out or to be abandoned? Y'all, <laughs> y'all, y'all are a bunch of elitists. So I already knew that I already know I'm the, you know, the bottom rung of society. Not, not true, Chris, but that was, that was pretty funny, Jorge kicked out or abandoned either way you spin it. It just isn't right. But what else are we going to do? Um, so does any, does anyone want to chime in, uh, from, yeah, those long goodbyes are the worst though. They're worse. Yeah. I think uh, it worked out. I, I thought it worked out great like this. Um, it, it, we were not we weren't sure like if there was a if we stayed around talking would there be a time for everybody to regroup like we are doing right now so that was kind of uh could be more clear if it is or isn't going to be the case where everybody circles back together i don't know if there's going to be a general rule about that or not but um we, we 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 were not sure about would would you guys come back to us would we go back to you would would it not happen at all yeah, that's a that's another really good point, Paul. So we need to make that explicit maybe next week that we'll drop the Zoom link if we haven't already and you can anyone can jump on, you know, uh you know, once round two is concluded. Uh yeah, thanks. That's exactly the kind of feedback we're we're looking for here. So I th I think we'll continue with that process and we'll just uh, fix some of the problems that we had and make some things other uh, that weren't stated uh, very clear before we uh before we complete the transition. Cool. Um, okay. Any final thoughts? And I think we'll, we'll end the meeting here and you guys continue to enjoy your Saturday. Yeah. I just wanted to add, I think, um, I think it is cool that we're having, you know, post discussions on both groups and then potentially another merge for afterwards too. This is good for community bonding, uh, you know, just to talk about different things and maybe even just hang out. Um, but I think maybe if that gets put into like an itinerary, kind of like how you like we already kind of abide by one by like at 10 30, you know, we have a po a pre meeting before the breakout rooms. And then after the breakout rooms, maybe have like a short period where before all second rounds, just leave, we're all there to discuss as a community. And then we go, uh, then that maybe that conversation can continue on the, the first round. And then, um, and then, yeah, then you have the grand finale. Cause this is turning into a, an event, right. Every single week, uh, and I just, I don't know. I've thought a lot about like, I think when it comes to voting for, for uh, like these consensus results and doing the payouts, like I am still playing with an idea that it, there may be a better way to just do it where like, we know ahead of time, like a week who your group is, then you have a little bit longer time. Maybe when stakes are higher, that may be something worth considering. Uh, but I still think that it's good to have like a weekly event, which that would be like, ideally where the deadline is where like, all submissions of consensus results for your groups need to be um, submitted or you just don't get paid. Um, and then, you know, that of course it's in itself is the event, the community event, which I, I think right now it's good that we're having these weekly meetings as a community rather than doing kind of my idea of, uh, you know, we vote throughout the week instead because it, it un unites us around a, a singular day in the week. Um, but I don't know, those are just thoughts probably like further down the road, but uh, just initial thoughts of like the, the new breakout rooms, I, I think it's good. Like, I think it's, uh, yeah, you know, there'll be times that maybe there's a lot of passion in the first round. Like I, I know a couple of weeks ago, like when we had like the first round, 
there's a lot of like uh you know interesting conversations that could have been carried on but because the zoom at the time the second round just stayed on the zoom link you know those conversations didn't really carry over anywhere else uh so yeah that's interesting felix i wonder if um like there could be a continuation from like let's say this same group now next week it's like part two so i already know what the expectations what they did last week what they're going to do next week and then it switched every two weeks instead just an idea as you're saying that about like knowing it ahead of time because it still needs that randomness but uh if there was a follow-up the second week that was the same as the the week before so every two weeks it would switch i don't know just thinking out loud yeah really actually interesting ideas about um our, our random randomness um i'll have to actually come back to the recording to fully remember everything you said there uh felix i think there was a couple of gems from you guys there Okay, Jorge, uh, I think we'll take you as the final comment today. You're going to sign yeah. us off. Yeah, it, it feels to me like the best possible, probably the best protocol is to do it as we did today. So people who are going to second round go to a different uh, Zoom link. And then after the second round, those people come back to the initial room to join uh, those who are already engaged into useful conversation. So that... Uh, at no moment, uh, the whole meeting ends up with the community divided. So we uh, split for a, for, a, for a temporary second round and then come back and the community ends up the meeting as a whole together. Yeah, so let's let's try that next week then um, and see, <coughs> see how that works. This was great feedback. All right, guys. Um, All right. Let's get, uh, I'm sorry, I should already have the uh, the outro queued up, but I don't. <laughs> so. At the count of three. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. Yeah. Let's do a yeah, baby. <laughs> <laughs> three, two, one. Go fractally. <laughs> Go fractally. Go yeah, fractally. Go fractally. <laughs> Go fractally. All right, guys. Adios. Right. Thanks, everyone. Go, my new fractal yet to be established. The cycle.